Camellio is an open source system able to handle thousands of call setups per second. Camellio can be used to build large platforms for VoIP, real-time communication, presents, WebRTC, instant messaging, and so on. It can be easily used for scaling payback systems or media servers like Asterisk or FreeSwitch. This is actually one of the most uh, common use cases of Camellio to work as a load balancer in front of your Asterisk or FreeSwitch servers. Camellio follows RFC 3261 for SIP and can act as a registrar, location server, proxy, a redirect, or event application server based on its configuration. The modular architecture of Camellio enables extending the core functionality in various directions. There are over 150 modules in Camellio that can be categorized into various function areas such as registrar or user location management, accounting, authorization, authentication, instant messaging, presence, and so on. Before we start learning in installation steps for the Camellio, I want to introduce you some resources that are very useful to learn Camellio. The first one is the uh, Camellio wiki, that you, uh, the URL is camellio.org slash wikidocs, that you can find a lot of information from uh, installation steps up to advanced stuff. The next resource that I think is very useful, and if you want to learn, you need to have it, is the uh, Camellio admin book that is written by actually Daniel and the main dev uh, and Elena, the main developers of the Camellio. And uh, you can contact them. And of course, it's not free. It's 51 euros. And that uh, you can request and have the book. That's very useful. It will start from the uh, SIP. And then it will go to the configurations. And it has a lot of examples that are very useful for uh, learning Camellio. The third resource that I want to introduce is the uh, nickvsnetworking.com website. It's from a telecom dude, I guess. He is in Australia, and he has a series of uh, Camellio 101 uh, documents that uh, it is in 10 parts. And it, the good thing about this uh, document is that it starts very basic. It starts from the installation, and then it will uh, introduce you how the routing blocks works. And this is a very useful document that you can use it. The Camellio 101, of course, he has more advanced documents as well, but that's a very good start point to start. The next resource is Camellio Vault. When you have learned uh, how to work with configuration files, then you may need to have, you may need to learn different modules and uh, run different scenarios. The Camellio Vault YouTube channel is one of the best uh, resources on the internet that you can find a lot of useful information. And it's a yearly conference that uh, happens in Berlin. Of course, the last two years, it was remote, as I know, but I hope this year uh, it happens in Berlin and we can join. Uh, and the last resource that I want to introduce, of course, there are a lot of resources on the internet, but I really like this uh, weblog as well, uh, Telecom R&D. I will put the link in the description and uh, it will uh, give you a lot of uh, advanced stuff about the SIP and also it has a lot of detailed documents about Camellio. So, how to configure them, what are the concepts, the Lua scripts, RTP engine, and a lot of useful stuff that you can uh, use from this website. Okay, and now it's time to learn how to install Camellio on Debian 11. I have uh, documented all the steps in my GitHub. Of course, you can find it in the Camellio GitHub as well. I just put it all together here uh, to easy copy paste for myself later. The first one is to add uh, key for the Camellio repo because we want to install the latest version of uh, Camellio that is Camellio 5.6 as I'm recording this video we need to add the Camellio and uh, deb repo and the Camellio packages uh, they are in the default uh, Debian repos as well but not usually the latest version so it's better to add the Debian repo as I'm adding here let's go to the end of file and set up the repo and then install the update, install the MySQL and also Camellio and Camellio MySQL module. Is it necessary to always install MySQL and Camellio MySQL module? Definitely no, but it's a very common use case because uh, we use MySQL to save the configuration files, not the configuration files, the information such as, for example, uh, SIP uh, information, the SIP users, a lot of module configurations, 
uh, module data that are saving in the MySQL. That's very common use cases. Of course, you can install Comedio first and then install MySQL and then configure it whenever you need it. But I prefer to always do with the MySQL backend. Uh, as you can see here, I installed Camellio MySQL module. If you want to see the list of all modules, you just need to use this command, apt search Camellio, and you will be able to uh, see all the available Camellio modules. And if you want to install them, just use the apt install to install that a specific Camellio module. For example, Camellio web circuit module. I'm not using it here, so I'm not installing it. The next step is to set the CAMCTL RC script. This is a... Uh, a script that will help us to uh, inter interact with the database more easily using command line uh, and use the camcmd uh, command. So let's just edit it. I already had the uh, vime, so let's just, just edit. The first one is the zip domain that you need to uh, put your IP address. Let me just copy my IP address here and edit the file again and instead of your zip domain camelio.org just put your ip address the next one is the db engine here we are using mysql so i will uncomment this one and then the db rw pw you can set any other password just keep it for default for this installation for learning then you can change it later for now just use the default one and uh, the next step is to uh, tell the camellio when you are installing camellio it is already installed yeah, the configuration file will be in the etc camellio and there's a config default configuration files camellio the cfg that do a lot of things actually the default configuration um, will uh, with the modules with you can actually create users you can uh, with defining the modules you can uh, solve the NAT problem so this is a very useful configuration for us that you can use it for now just uh, we want to add the mysql authentication and user lock uh, user location modules for now we will go into that later just add it for now and this is used to, because we want to authenticate with the MySQL, I want to create a user here, and then I register my Zoipen the server, so we need these modules. Uh, in the previous step, we have configured the database, but we didn't create the database. In order to create the database, you can use the camctl, uh, camdbctl create, and it will automatically create the database for you. It will ask you for the root password. I didn't set any root password here. What is the character set? We can use the Latin one character set here. And it will ask you what databases should I create? Should I create the RTP engine or uh, module related database tables? Uh, of course, yes, let's create them. If you don't use it, it won't harm. So just create all of them. And that's it. The Camellio is already installed and uh, it with the configurations that we added here, it's already connected to the MySQL as well with the default username and password that we have set in the uh, CAMCTLRC. If you didn't, if you change this uh, password here, then you need to go and uh, define this dburl in your camelio.cfg as well. Because we didn't change it, we don't need to do that. The next step is to add a user. I want to add uh, two CIP users. As I told you, the default uh, camelio configurations do a lot of things for us. For example, one of them is the authentication and uh, it saves the user location so in order to test that i can create two users camctl add uh, omid let's set a password i will use the same password here it can be any password and then uh, let's add another user let's name it hamid and then with the same password and i have created two users now i can register my zoiper and make a call i have already prepared two zoiper on my phone and my laptop and I have uh, created the user for them and I want to uh, to show you the registration process so let's install sngrep it's a very useful tool sorry I had a typo here I have a video about sngrep if you don't know what is it watch that and let's run it 
and let's try to register I will send the uh, I will register on my phone as you can see we have received the uh, register then unauthorized because uh, this is the registration process for the SIP uh, I'm sure you're familiar with if not you need to read about the registration process in the SIP uh, we ask for the uh, challenge and then the Zoiper send us the uh, register with the information of the username and password and then because it is valid it sends OK. How the Camellio is doing this is all by the default configurations that we already have in the Camellio.cfg. Please pay attention to this because in the next videos we will go and change them or we will write them from scratch so the Camellio by itself doesn't know anything. That's the default configurations that uh, we can actually register a Zoe pair or we can call them. Let me register the other Zoe pair as well. Okay, as you can see, we get the registration from the Hamid as well, and both uh, Zoe pairs are registers. And let's make a call from uh, Hamid to Omid or vice versa. Uh, so I make a call in the SNG rep. You can see we have the invite. Let me just open it and let me answer. And when I'm answering, you can see I'm in the call. This is all the uh, standard SIP uh, process for the initiating a call and answering a call. So uh, the call or how it how the Camellio handles the invite all of them are in the default configuration as well that's our job is to learn how is it working or define our own uh, logic for handling of the C packets let me uh, end the call and as you can see the buy is received and then the okay is sent uh, pay attention the camellio uh, cannot do anything with the rtp so it's just for handling the SIP signaling and this is very important and for the RTP we need uh, to use another modules like RTP proxy, RTP proxy engine or RTP engine uh, to handle the RTP part of the uh, traffic. Thank you for watching and I hope this video is useful.